Welcome back to the Chad AC Show on News Talk, 95.1 FM and 790 AM KFYO. Something to look forward to this weekend. Uh, we're taking the show on the road, doing a uh, special remote broadcast from our friends over at the Knife Guys at uh, 6620 Milwaukee Avenue. And uh, we, we've got Phil Watkins with us uh, today from the Knife Guys. Welcome back uh, to the show. Thank you very much. How, how, how are things going? Well, it's doing good, Chad. <laughs> doing good. It's one of those mornings where I have two left feet, but I'm happy as a lark. <laughs> We're happy to have you uh, ha- uh, have you in here and uh, bring that mic just a little bit closer to you. And uh, there, there you go. That'll work. Uh, y'all have got, uh, not only are you having us out there, which we appreciate uh, doing the show out there from two to four, uh, but from one to five, y'all have a, a really cool event that's going to be happening. Yes, sir. Uh, our Benchmade representative is coming into town. He's going to have a laser engraver. And we're going to hold an event from 1 to 5. If you buy a Benchmade knife, he'll laser engrave it for free. We're going to have drawings, and I'll give away a Benchmade knife that day as well. And we're just going to have a good, fun time. So you can learn uh, all the questions you want to ask. This is the guy to ask Yeah, that's coming in. Well, tell us a little bit about uh, Benchmade knives. And, and uh, you know, I, I know you all do a lot of business with Benchmade. And, and just kind of tell folks about those knives. Yes. Well, Benchmade is uh, all American. It's a 100% American company. It's a quality. It's like the Cadillac of knives, you know. Uh, if you want quality, uh, this is one of the brands that you want to get to get uh for yourself so you don't have to worry about failures or or you know warranty issues and all that they're just great people to deal with yeah just great people to deal with and uh, i see you brought some knives with you today yes i brought some to to show you for instance uh this is a what we call the um, bush crafter and it's a beefy little knife if you can look at that chad oh, i like that yeah. yeah yeah and it comes with a good kydex sheath and uh, if you're out hunting, you know, we are in hunting season. That's right. This would be a good knife to have for, uh, every, you know, you're not going to have to worry about having to really saw through something. This is a really good, sharp knife. And it's got some good weight to it, too. It's oh. not too heavy, but, I mean, it's got, it's, 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 it feels good in the hand. Yes, yes. It's, and it's comfortable because your hand, uh, uh, I always say knives are like shoes. They have to fit right? because they're tools, basically, is what they are. Yeah. And if you're wearing something that doesn't fit, it it tears up your hands over the end of the day. So no two knives fit the same person. Right. You know, uh, or no one knife fits two people. I mean, I should say. Something else I brought was uh, this one is a spring assist boost. And if you notice, it has a blunt tip. You know, you always have those people that want to use their knife like a screwdriver. Right. Well, here's one that's built like that. And it's spring assist, and you just flip it out. And it's got a good blade for cutting and all that. But also, if you're, uh, say, you want to carry a knife for uh, rescue. Well, if you went to cut somebody out of a seatbelt, you're not going to stab them in the neck when you go to cut them. That's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, And stuff like that. That's cool. Yeah. yeah, I, you don't see a lot of knives like that. No, well, that's the thing about Benchmade. They have a lot of versatility in their brand, a lot of versatility. This is a tactical knife. I own one of these. I own the larger version of these. This is a SOCP dagger. And if you see how thin it is, but also it can go around your neck, in your belt, in your boot, anywhere. And all you have to do to access it has a little ring here. Slip your finger through it, and you're ready to go. Oh, wow. And for self-defense, this little dagger here are, is a good self-defense tool. And uh, law enforcement, as well as uh, personal protection and all that, I have one of these because, you know, when I'm working security in a church, I don't want to pull my gun out in the auditorium if somebody comes running in there. But this would be a good self-defense tool. Uh, in a situation like that, you know, we're, we're you know, uh, big supporters of the Second Amendment, uh, you know, here on the show. And, we, you know, we talk a lot about guns, knives, too. Knives mm-hmm. are a very important tool to have mm-hmm. to defend yourself and, and, and to defend others. I mean, you can do mm-hmm. you can protect yourself with a knife. Yes. And I've heard on your show that you are. <laughs> like a, I've listened to your show. And, and it's a good show. I appreciate it. Uh, but you're right. You can't use a gun for everything you use a knife for and vice versa. Yeah. There's a reason for both tools. Yes. And if you look at a gun or a knife as a tool, there's a reason for having it. The last but not least, I brought the Infidel. 
The Infidel is an automatic knife. It comes out the front, what we call out the front. You can hear it click. Yeah, I love that. And this blue color is a one-year limited edition. Hmm. And you get this for just one year. And ever so often they do something like that. That's a lot of fun to kind of play with. But uh, it's a good tool as well uh, for quick open, one-handed open. And now that one is double-edged. So, you know, you don't have to worry about which way you're cutting with that. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and it's got, I mean, you've, you've got to, you know, the one thing that, you know, people sometimes get worried with, uh, you know, mm -hmm. is that uh, I don't want to snag myself or whatever. I mean, you've got to really push. Well, it's not going to go off in your pocket. That's what they're right. about sticking their leg. But there's also a safety feature besides that. If you look, not only do you have this drag feature with the button so that it won't automatically just trigger out, but if it hits resistance going in or out, it'll disengage the blade. Hmm. And, uh, okay. And then you just gently pull it out, recock it, and you're ready to go. Yeah. If it's extended, it'll stay intact. So there's a lot of safety features. That's very cool. Yeah. yeah. And and I mean and like you said, it's just it shows the versatility of, of bench made knives. And of course, bench made they're gonna be out uh, this Saturday. Yes. From one, one to, to five. five. One to five. We'll have a drawing it for uh, Benchmade products at 2, 3, 4, and 5 o'clock. We'll give away the knife at 5. All right. And then uh, we're going to be doing a special edition of the show from uh, 2 to 4. And uh, hopefully you'll be out there hanging out with us a little bit, showing us some, some of the different knives and everything else uh, that you have in store. I'm looking forward to you being there. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for stopping by today. And we do want to remind people, uh, as uh, you know, we're, we're going to be out there from, uh, from uh, 2 to 4. Uh, the first 50 people who show up, you're going to get a free knife. Uh, uh, from uh, from our friends over at the Knife Guys. First 50 people who show up from 2 to 4 p.m. Uh, while we're on site and uh, broadcasting the show, uh, you're going to get uh, a free cool uh, knife. Uh, so you'll want to show up uh, for that. Uh, and, of course, see everything that Benchmade has and uh, get entered into uh, the raffle as well. Uh, Philip, thanks for stopping by. Well, thank you, and happy Thanksgiving, and let's eat lots of turkey. Absolutely. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm, I'm down with that. 